Mr. Depp, the, the jury's heard quite a bit from Ms. Hurd's side about your drug and alcohol use, but I'm sure they'd like to hear from you. So could you please just tell them about your history of substance use? Certainly. Um, again, this, this goes back to when I was a, a young boy. Um, excuse me. Um, at about the age of, I don't know, four or five years old, I, I can remember vividly my, my mom telling me to go get her nerve pills, you know, um, out of her purse that was hanging on the back of the door. So I'd go get the nerve pills and I'd bring her the nerve pill, she'd take it, and, um, you know, after a few years, you start to notice, well, you start to think about nerve pills, nerve pills. <laughs> and then she seemed to calm down after she took those nerve pills. So when I was 11 years old, um, I wanted to calm down and I didn't know how to. So I, I'd bring my mom her nerve pill, I would walk away, and I would take one myself um, to escape caring so much, feeling so much, uh, to escape the, the, the chaotic um, nature of, of, what, of what we were living uh, through. Um, so that, that, that was the beginning when I realized that nerve pills calm the nerves. Um, pretty young age to do that. I, uh, I can't say that I'm proud of admitting to that, but, but I, I have to say that I knew not what else to do. I knew nothing else that I could do. Um, so as we were all growing up, there was always those kids who would say, let's party. Let's go party. I want to party. I've never used the word party in my life. I've never, I've never taken any substance uh, for a party. I have taken these substances over the years, on and off, um, to numb, to numb myself of of uh, of the the ghosts, the wraiths that were still with me, and um, from 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 my youth. So um, it, 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 I needed, yeah. I, 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 they were everything. It was essentially it was just self medication. Um, one of those get me out of here moments and the, you know where you want to escape from is your own brain your own head how often have you used substances throughout your life um having started with my, my mother's nerve pills at 11 of course the, the, the you know that's around the age that um you're introduced to uh, marijuana, um, you're introduced to, and also depending on the, where you're living and who you're um, associating with, and who's around the neighborhood, um, I, no, I wasn't shy to uh, try a substance for 
to see if the effect of it would maybe even take a bit more of the edge off. So I, I, I started um, at 11, and I, I mean, I, I even mentioned this in an interview in TV Guide, if anyone remembers TV Guide, um, in 1989, where I was asked by the journalist um, why I believed that um, kids who were watching the show, 21 Jump Street, about police officers in school under, as un undercover, uh, undercover cops, but, uh, but as students, um, I was asked why people, why these kids or whoever should, should, should believe me or trust me or listen to me. And I said, look, I, I, I could, because I've experienced it and I can tell them that there is no future in it, that there's nothing but a, 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 a kind of an, a postponing of the inevitable that one day you're going to have to face those feelings. One day you will meet those, let's call them uh, demons um, from your youth. Um, so I, I, was, I, was, I was straight up open and honest at, at that time in, in, in a very, I mean, TV Guide was, uh, it was right at the register when you checked out of the grocery store. It was like the most popular thing. And, and it was a very straight magazine, uh, little magazine. But I, 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 I told them I'd pretty much done all the drugs that I was aware of by the time I was 15 years old, um, and which was true. Um, now, that doesn't mean to say that I continued in, into that, you know, forest of, of uh, possibilities with regard to substances. Um, I wasn't uh, um, dropping acid every five minutes. I wasn't, I, I, there were many years that I didn't touch a substance and no drugs. There were many years that I, uh, didn't have a drink, um, so it's, as I said, it, it, it's never been for the sort of party effect, it's been for trying to numb the things inside that have, that, 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 that plague, that, that can plague, plague someone's, uh, uh, Who's, who's experienced trauma. Um, but it, the, the characterization um, of, 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 of the, the characterization of my substance, quote unquote, substance abuse. Um, that's been delivered by uh, Ms. Hurd is, is, uh, is, 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 a, is grossly embellished. Um, and I'm sorry to say, but um, a lot of it is, uh, is just plainly false. I, I think that was easy, it was an easy, uh, I think it was an easy target for her to hit because once you've trusted somebody for a certain amount of years and you've told them all the secrets of your life, um, that information then of course can be used against you, especially if it's taken to a point that is teetering on impossible uh, uh, and teeters over impossible in fact at times 
it's so I, I, I am not um, some maniac who needs um, to be high or loaded all the time. I, I in fact, the, 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 in Australia, from before Australia and in Australia, I had been um, off, off of alcohol for, I believe it was about 18 months. 